This video is to show you how to do some measurements from the PDF file. In this example here, I'm going to use the images captured from a browser and then to convert into the PDF. First thing first, to start with a project, go to Design Review button, go to the folder where you want to open the file. In this example here, uh, we're going to use type B, um, a condominium unit. Now, because this file is saved into PDF, it doesn't show here. All the file types show here is a native file, which is DWFX. So you need to go to right bottom drop down here to select all to review the pdf file so i have to type a and b now let's use the type a unit so because this file is converted from a photo and then um, save in a pdf format so we need to do some dimension check here and then to set the correct scale. In order to check the scale or to adjust the scale correctly, we need to do a quick measure to find out what adjustment we need to make to the scale because uh, the by default, design review will set the scale one to one. So, we can just do a quick measure on the actual length. Now in the design review ribbon, you will find the measure panel. On the top down, select 2D unit and scale. Now we need to change the decimal place to 4 so we can see what the value for decimal places and we can leave it one to one k okay. now as you can see we need to include 0 0.2021 uh, when we come to do the adjustment now let's go back to the measure panel from the dialog this time we need to change it to custom scale and then from on page box we need to key in 2021 but in the actual dimension it is 12750 and click OK now you can see we can get exactly the same 12750 the remaining value is very minimum so we can ignore it we can go back to the measure panel and then uh, get it off the decimal place to zero. And click OK. Now this is the dimension we have adjusted and then we have changed the scale uh, accordingly. Now using the same scale then we need to check whether it is correct. So we need to zoom in here to do a dimension check first always go to the center of the crust so is it five four nine two that's not far away only eight um, mm so we can um, assume that's the correct otherwise we can just do another check again So this is slightly more than what so the actual length. There's another way to adjust um, this um, dimension. We can go back to the measure panel and then so we can reduce the one page value here. Maybe we change to slightly smaller. Okay, now we adjust the scale. It's very close enough to the actual uh, dimensions. So 10 mm out and for this dimension check here is only 5 mm out okay in this exercise we don't need to bother so much so 
with this dimension, then we can work out the internal wall to draw the grid line. So in order to transfer this 2D to 3D model, we use Rabbit software to alter 3D model. To do this, we need to have uh, vertical and horizontal grid lines. Once all the internal wall and some of the external wall measure, we can then transfer this into a grid line. Before that, we need to do this in either the PDF or Word document to carefully uh, put it down the dimension for each grid line, vertical and horizontal. Make sure the sums of the grid line dimension equal to the total as given. So when this is correct, then we can start to draw on uh, the rapid model. This is what we're going to draw on uh, rabbit. We now finished vertical and horizontal grid lines and also put the dimension between each grid lines 